James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today's July 26, 2023, 11 a.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a strong M4.59 solar flare strike overnight. It looks like it's going to be directly Earth-facing. And it appears that it originated from sunspot AR3380. This is believed to be the old sunspot AR3354 that gave Earth so much trouble on its last pass. This strong M flare occurred at 1043 UTC time, so around 4 a.m. Central here in the U.S. And there was one earlier than that. You can see it right here on the chart. It's an M1.2, also thought to have originated from Sunspot AR3380, and I believe that one has been assigned. Again, the M4.95 has not yet been assigned to a Sunspot location, but we're going to be able to see that it came from AR3380 on STO in just a few moments. Over to our D-region X-ray absorption chart. We see that first M flare hit here about 8.30 UTC time. And it looks like it peaks closer to 8.45. And then we see the much stronger M4.95 solar flare. Again, that's going to be around 10.40 UTC time. And you can back that up to around 4 a.m. last night centrally here. And that's going to have blasted while the sun was over Africa, the Middle East, and Western Europe. Now, just this moment at 16.01 UTC time, 11.01 Central Time, it looks like we got hit by either a strong C flare or a weak M flare. Now, this has just occurred as we're doing this video. You can see that it hit all of the Caribbean and brush parts of South America and North America. As you can see here, nothing shows up as far as a coronal mass ejection at any of those times on Lasco C3 or C2. A very strange situation, but typical with NOAA and NASA. Now we do have two newly named sunspots, 3384 and 3386, but we're looking here at 3380. And I will show you all the flares that came from 3380 today. Over on the left at 193 angstroms, I'm going to run through this with my hand so you can see the first M flare. It's like there was a solar tsunami there with it. And then you'll see the next M flare right there. And then the camera cuts out. But when the camera comes back on, you'll still be able to see that flare going. And we're not, well, there is the third one right there that just occurred. So all three of them originated from AR3380. They should all be earth facing and all have an earth component. And the probabilities of a chrome mass ejection from an M4.95 solar flare are incredibly high. We'll have to see what NASA and NOAA says later in the day, but that's usually, almost always, what occurs. God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.